Concrete Heads, Owen Blevins, ConcreteAnswers.tv, bringing you the Internet's most passionate show about concrete plants and equipment. Today, Jay Robinson, Mid-Atlantic Concrete Equipment's president, a.k.a. Big Daddy, is going to be showing us a Bibco Reclaimer. Throw out everything you thought you knew about Reclaimers. We're starting over, guys. This is a 100% closed-loop recycling system. This is the first in a series of three videos. You're going to learn a lot here, so listen up. Bibco is a reclaimer made in Germany, marketed all over the world. It is the largest producer of reclaimers, concrete reclaimers in the world. This is the trough that the trucks would pull up to, the mixture trucks either fronts or rears. The driver puts his truck into the charging position, his barrel into the charging position, positions the watering tree into the hopper of his truck, and then pushes the button. After the machine has put the appropriate amount of water into the mixer, the driver will then agitate the mixer, and at that point, stop and reverse the mixer, discharging the washed material into the hopper, which will then be carried into the washing chamber. Let's go over here to the other end of the machine. The cover is held in place by two bolts. It is electrically interlocked, so if someone did remove the bolts and open the cover, everything shuts off. As you can see, the water's running through here. It is in a coasting cycle. The cover is made of aluminum, mounted with gas shocks to neutralize the lift. Very easy to access. The concrete that's washed out of the truck is brought into the initial chamber. The buckets are solid buckets that take the uh, concrete, carry it up and into the hopper that feeds the wash chamber. As it's being washed, the material, the aggregate material is moved toward the left by the plows and partially by the spiral blades. At that point it is moved into the chamber where the dewatering buckets are located. So the aggregate material then is lifted out of the wash solution and discharged into the aggregate discharge screw conveyor. As you can see, most of the buckets are slotted, which allows for moisture, of course, all the water to go back and stay in the machine. So the material coming out of the machine is relatively dry. The buckets are all bolt-in and replaceable. The urethane plows, or shoes as you may call them, are easily replaceable and not a very expensive item. And these take the bulk of the wear. The auger pulls the aggregate out. The fines get pushed back, washed back into a pit where they're contained and maintained as an agitated suspension. As you can tell, there's not one bit of fine in this aggregate cement fines. It comes out clean as a whistle and relatively dry because the Bibco, unlike other machines, dewaters the aggregate before it puts it in the auger and brings it up. Jay, you are a reclaiming god. Creedheads, hope you liked that video. If you did, stay tuned for the next two. You're going to learn about water, keeping it in the loop, 100% closed loop recycling, Thanks to Mid-Atlantic Concrete Equipment, our sponsor, maconcrete.com. Bibco, check them out at bibco.us. Great site. As well as, of course, concreteanswers.tv. We'd love to see your face in the place again, so we'll see you soon.